Hey guys, so this is gonna be the, our final product. Um, we see here we have like a metahuman I created called Maria. Uh, she's working the same, you know, as the Unreal Engine uh, 5 mannequin, uh, even though they're not the same proportions. You can see that Maria here is much more shorter and some of the limbs could have created issues, but we tackle all of those in the tutorial and I hope you like it. Okay, so let's get started by first going into uh, games third person and let's give it a name human test, for instance let's create it cool we're in a project now so we're gonna go into the place actors drop down and we're gonna select uh, quixel bridge make sure you logged in go into the metahuman sections in my case I'm gonna go into my metahumans and I'm gonna select one that I already have um, downloaded now, bear in mind that downloading a MetaHuman, it's quite substantial. It may take uh, up to 40 minutes or, so, or more, depending on your connection speed uh, and some other variants. But yeah, mine's already downloaded, so I'm going to select medium quality, and I'm just going to hit add into the project. Yeah, we're going to get these warnings. Just uh, enable the missing plugins, and we should be good to go. Okay, so we're back with our MetaHuman on the scene. Um, so if you want to know where that where the MetaHuman lives, it's on the contents. We can go into MetaHumans folder here. We can go here in the Maria one, which is our a character, and I just simply drag and drop this into the scene. Yeah. So this is an actor. So we actually need uh, some movement. So we're gonna see how we can achieve that. First, uh, I'm gonna open the third person character, and the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the um, the mesh component and then I'm gonna add it's important that you do it in this order and we'll see why in a second and I'm gonna select a child actor it's gonna be our meta human doesn't really matter what you could what you name it but just remember what you name it um, now I'm gonna select my class Maria and Maria is already there I'm just gonna offset Maria 100 centimeters yeah and cool so now we got now we got the two two girls in here, but we we need to make Maria move. So how do we do that? Uh, let's go into into the actual class that got that got created for us for the MetaHuman, and we can see that it's Maria split it into multiple different pieces. However, because all of the pieces are attached to the body, and I can also see on the construction strip that they're using the setmaster pose component for all of the other individual components. That means that whatever animation the body is running, uh, all of the children's are gonna follow. So knowing knowing that, I'm just gonna select the body and I'm gonna browse to the skeletal mesh and then to the skeleton tab. And we, here we have it. We're gonna browse to the assets. Now with it selected, right click, create animation blueprint. I'm just gonna add a prefix of AVP. And we need to associate now this animation blueprint to Maria body. So we go into the body, use animation blueprint. And because I already have it selected, I can just click on this. Yeah. So select it, go into here, click on the arrow. There you go. Okay, cool. Let's open this up and let's set it up. Okay. So we're gonna find we're gonna find a node called the targets pose from mesh. This is the one. Now it's asking for a reference, but we're not gonna pass any. And the reason of uh, the reason why we're not passing any is because of this option. It says a source component is not valid, which is our case. We're not passing anything, and this is true. It will look for the attached parent as a source. Now remember what I said initially about like so important the order in which you do that, in which you do the attachment. It is because we want Maria to be attached to the mesh of Queen, so she can read um, all of the animation data data coming our way. Um, lastly, we need to set uh, Nike retargeted assets and we're going to set the mannequin for now. It doesn't really matter what you choose, but um, just know uh, that we're going to see something a bit funky initially, but we'll fix it. So I'm hitting play. I can see the two girls running now and it's more or less correct. It's just the, the arms, you know, there's something funny going on there. So let's fix that. Th that is because of the IK, in case you're wondering. The metahumans don't come with any IK, so we need to retarget that IK. Um, the issue is that, is that if we browse to this um, mannequin, 
you know, is doing mannequin to mannequin. Uh, there's also a metahuman one, and you may think this is the correct one, uh, but not quite because it's uh, I can make a human from metahuman. We actually need from um, the Unreal Engine five mannequin to the IQ meta human. That's what we actually need. And I I believe I already have one created for me. The target. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. But I'm just going to browse to the asset and show you how I created it. So I want to an empty space, right click animation, go into the IQ retargeter and we first select the source. The IK mannequin stands for the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin as well as the female version. So we're going to select that one. Doesn't really, uh, we don't really care what we name it, but then we actually need the meta human one. And if you want to preview how it's looking, um, the meta human comes with your body type. So you can select your body type as preview because otherwise you cannot have all of the pieces at once. So yeah, looks pretty good. So yeah. Now we, we should only go into the ABP and change it. So we have the new IK retargeted here, compile. If we play now, we can see that everything is correct. Cool. So now let's remove queen of the equation. So we're going to reset the transform of our meta human uh, child component. Then we're going to set the visibility of the queen mannequin to be invisible and we're going to see also something interesting happening oh we didn't see it because <laughs> i changed this already okay but in your case you're you're gonna see something completely different um i'm just gonna reset it so that you can see what i'm talking about yeah so we see that it, it did the first frame of the animation but it's not updating why is that that's because Unreal Engine uh, 5 and also 4 uh, had some, you know, performance tricks under the sleeve. Uh, and when something is not visible, they're basically not updating the transform of the bones unless you tell it to. So if we go, if we scroll all the way to optimization, there's a visibility based animation tick option. And the default option is always tick post, which it says always tick but refresh bone transform only when rendered. But we obviously, because Queen is not being rendered, we need to change this to be um, and refresh bones. So it says whether render or not, it's going to update the bone transform. So that's what we want. And now we have our complete character here. Yeah. The camera is a little bit farther away, so we're going to do some adjustments to, the, to it. So go into the camera boom, go into, into the target length, and I'm going to set this to 200. And I'm going to set a little socket of 25 and I'm going to put it to shoulder level. And now if we play. Yeah, that's much more neat um, to look at, isn't it? One thing you may be running into, it's uh, that because this, this guys can get quite expensive in terms of uh, polygons and materials and stuff, you know, Maybe your computer is not able to handle um, how close it is to the camera because of the LODs. But uh, there's a neat little trick you can do. If you go into Maria here, there's they have uh, an LOD sync and you can select a minimum LOD. So let's say my computer, it's really, really struggling, right? I can just set a minimum number of LODs five. And I don't know why it's not visible here. Okay, but it's it's visible once we play. Yeah. So let me go full screen. So if you see, it's a much more limited version. You can really see it on the hair. It's it looks like everything has been clamped into one one mesh or something. Uh, so yeah, and you know it's much more performant if you if you're looking for something like this. Uh, another way to debug animations that I'm, I want to show you before I leave you um, is this. You can move um, our metahuman a little bit, go back to the visibility of queen, set it to visible, yeah. And now if we play, if we jump, for instance, you know, like when you when you want to test animations, you always want to do something that is a bit radical, jump. And I just hit my uh, pause key uh, on the keyboard, and now I'm gonna 
press F8 to eject. And I can start seeing like, okay, how close is this matching? You know, do I need to change something? And the, the cool part about this is that we can, we can, we also have access to a base, uh, skeleton. So, which is this one. And we can go under the retarget options and we can set things here to be set to skeleton, which gives you much better result in animation. So in my opinion, we have the root, which is animation. That's fine. Uh, we got the pelvis, which is animated scale. Okay. But now from the spine onwards, we want everything to be skeleton. Yeah. And because of the, of the pelvis, which has, which gets splitted onto a different change, you got to scroll down to the thigh, you know, to the left and to the right, make sure you select the top thigh and then you select everything relative to, um, skeleton. So yeah, um, this may not be necessary. Um, but I know some, some of you are going to run into this issue if your character is a bit too chubby or too bulky, you know, and, um, and basically the bone transforms are heavily changed in there. So just, just know that that's how you can fix it. And yeah, I hope this was useful to you. If you want me to do more metahuman, um, retargeting videos or, you know, for instance, with Mixamo, um, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.